Do you wanna make more money or maybe you wanna grow your business to the next level? but you just can't seem to put it all in place or get to that next level because something is stopping you. Well, I wanna share what that something is for you guys today. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is why most people fail to scale their income or even their business. So let's jump in. But before we do, I wanna give a shout out to all the new subscribers on the channel. And many of you know, I love talking finances and different investments. And even though I'm not giving you financial advice, it's really cool to watch Bitcoin as I'm looking here. Bitcoin's still around that 38,000 mark. Ethereum, which I'm heavy in, is around that $28,000 mark or $2,800 mark. And so, you know, we were, the markets are kind of just like, you know, it's in this little consolidation uh, period and we'll see which way it goes. Is it gonna drop? Is it gonna be a, a bull market? What do you think it is? Comment below, we'd love to hear it. So let's jump in because <clears throat> this is a theme that I'm seeing with some new clients that I have coming on board and where they wanna take their income and their business. And that's the point of like taking their income to that next level, scaling it from maybe a four figure to a five figure or five figure to a six figure monthly account. And so how you do that or taking your business to the next level, how you need to do that. And the biggest hurdle is that people are not tracking their numbers. If I ask a business owner, what's your closing percentage when you jump on the phone with a new client? They don't know right then and there. What's your, you know, when you bring in a client or a lead, how many times, like, how much do you, how, what's your percentage of actually getting on the phone with them and having a meaningful conversation with them? And from that meaningful conversation to having them close, and then even when you close, what's your average transaction value? See, if a business or an individual wants to take their income to the next level, you have to know your numbers. I ask people, they come in all the time, they say, hey, I wanna be able to make, uh, you know, buy a boat, right? They wanna go buy a boat, but can they afford it? Well, how much does a boat cost? How much does the dock fee cost? How much does storage fee cost? How much is gas? And if we average that out on a monthly basis, how much is that? Well, I don't know. <clears throat> Well then how do you know whether you get a boat? Is it just because you get emotional and depending on where you are, if you're like feeling really good, you're like, I'm getting a boat. But if you feel under pressure financially and you're like, oh, I don't know, I'm probably gonna hold off on getting that boat. And so you're gonna allow your emotions to play versus knowing the numbers, right? How much money do you have coming in on a monthly basis on average? Especially as an entrepreneur, you don't have that steady paycheck. Or even if you know how much money you have coming in, what's your monthly expenses? Like your total monthly, even with the fun stuff included, going out to dinner, the movies or whatever. Right? We gotta know that information because if you don't, then it's really hard to say, okay, you can get that boat. Or you know what, hey, you're making X amount now, but you wanna make, you know, maybe you're making five grand a month now, but you wanna get to 15 grand. How do you do that? What's really the way that you go about making that happen? What's the vehicle you have so that we can go up and make that 300% jump, right? So what does that look like? Most people, who are unsuccessful at scaling their business, increasing their income, they don't know the numbers. It's not that they don't have the vehicle, <clears throat> they just don't know how. When I help business owners and they wanna bring more leads in, they don't know how much they need to spend on ads because they're not clear on how much profit they're making off of each client and how many clients they currently have and what their numbers are. If they're looking to say, okay, do I have enough top money to buy a new business? Do you have, do you know how much you're paying in taxes based on each quarter of your income, right? And so I'm seeing this theme and I want to address it for you guys because I know a lot of people out there in today's time with that pr home prices going up, lumber prices going up, everything's going up right now. You know, how do you be able to go to that next level? How do you be able to really increase your income so that you can have the life you want. You can live the life by design and be the master of that for you. Most people, they're so unclear, they just they they just wallow and they hope that they make more money or they hope that they can pay for the ads or they hope that they can bring in new clients, but they don't really know their numbers. You wanna be so calculated that if I asked you, what's your, you know, how many leads are you getting in a month? 
100 leads, cool. How, do, how many of them are you getting on the phone? 80, cool. How many of them are you actually having a meaningful conversation with? 60%, 60 of them? Cool, out of those 60, how many are you closing? 29? Okay, so you got a 29% close ratio from beginning to end. And out of those 29, how much is your average transaction value? $1,000, cool. On average is $1,000 based on your upsells, your downsells. You're making 29 grand on average. Right, and from there, we can start looking at, okay, what are your expenses? Your expenses are 16 grand a month. That means you have $13,000 profit. You're taking, and your expenses include your taxes, right? And all of a sudden, you're like, I got 13 grand. And then you're like, you have someone saying, hey, I can help you guys get 1,000 leads a month. But that's gonna cost you five grand a month. And you're like, five grand? I don't know if I can afford that. Is that really doable? If you know your numbers, you'll still have seven grand a month profit, which is $84,000 a year. But if you keep a 29% close ratio and you can get to a thousand leads, you go from 29,000 to 290,000. And all of a sudden, you just 10X your results. That doesn't happen if you don't know where you are financially. You got to know your numbers. So my biggest thing for you is know your freaking numbers, right? Track your numbers. Google spreadsheets, they can save you. Make sure you know your numbers because if I ask you, hey, what are your monthly expenses? You should be able to tell me. If I say, hey, what's your average income on a monthly basis? I can tell you. I actually have right here on my computer, I mean, my wife and I, we keep an income spreadsheet. I can tell you down to the dollar in some months even the penny but we usually round right <clears throat> i can tell you how much we made i made in january i can tell you how much my wife made how much our passive income from uh, our endeavors that we have is made and our total monthly family income i can tell you all that and our, where we are right now year to date as i record this on june 3rd are you that calculated are you that precise if not that's the reason why your income's not scaling that's the reason why your business isn't scaling because out of sight, out of mind. And I want you to know this, I'll leave you with this note, is that you're not alone. This happens to the, a lot of successful entrepreneurs. And as they come into our coaching, we really start to expose where are they? Because when you're looking at your dashboard, right, your financial dashboard, all of a sudden, it becomes easy to say, <clears throat> okay, you know, we're in June, maybe you've made a quarter million dollars in the first five months. Awesome. So you're looking at, you know, maybe around 650, but what if you wanna hit a million in this year? You gotta hustle, right? We need to do something different. And so maybe knowing how much money you make in a uh, profit after expenses, all of a sudden you're like, hey, I need to invest in more marketing. I need to drive more leads because then that's how I'm gonna get a million dollars and you'll be able to calculate how many leads you need each month. But if you don't know it, it's hard to do. And then it's hard to hit your goal. And then you start thinking, oh my goodness, I can't hit my goals, I'm not that good enough. You know, why even set goals, right? And then all this, these stories play out. So if you take one thing away, the biggest thing is know your numbers. Go get a Google spreadsheet, go start tracking right now, go hire an accountant, a CPA, someone to help you with your numbers if you can't do it yourself. So if you guys found value in the video, hit that thumbs up button. I'd love to hear what do you think? Do you track your numbers? Comment below. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button because we want you to be able to get the notifications. Hit that notification too. But we wanna be want to make sure you get notified when we kick out these videos. It's three times a week. And so I know with where a lot of people are out there in the world today, this information is just totally free that I'm sharing with you the things that are showing up in my coaching sessions with my clients. And if you feel stuck, if you feel challenged, comment or excuse me, go in the description below, fill out that one-on-one -on -one coaching application and we'll get on the phone with you and see if you're a great fit for working with one of our team members to help you break through, to help you get that clarity on how to get to that next level in your income and or your business. So with that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.